Chevy, Ford, or Dodge? Which kind of truck person are you? Why the heck do I ask that? And what do trucks have in common with finance? Um, well, I've gotten this uh, response a lot lately. Let me kind of uh, set the stage here for you. I'll be having a, a meeting with maybe a prospective client and we're talking about risk. And I'll get the comment of, oh, I'm, I'm diversified. I've got stuff at Schwab. I've got stuff at TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Vanguard. You know, I've got stuff all over the place. So I'm, I'm diversified. And I'm sitting there thinking, huh, they think that having money in different custodians is diversified. And part of our process whenever we're working with someone is to find out how much risk they're actually exposed to. And so here, when I go through my resuscitation report and I analyze their portfolio for risk, I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, I'm just going to use Apple as a, an example. They've got Apple over at Schwab. They've got Apple over at TD Ameritrade. They've got Apple over at Fidelity. They've got Apple over in Vanguard. Or it could be an S&P index fund through and whatever it is. They've got the same stuff in all of these different areas. And that is not diversification. Having your money at different custodians is not diversification because all of those custodi custodians can pretty much hold all the same investments. And so this is where the truck analogy comes into play. I, uh, I grew up on a farm and we were a Chevy family. Uh, in the area that we grew up, there were three main types of trucks. You were either a Chevy family, a Ford family. The Dodge families were just weird, right? That, that was how, maybe it was similar where you grew up. Maybe there's Toyota thrown in there. I don't know, whatever it is. Maybe Honda is in there because um, they've got some, some neat stuff too. I, I don't know, right? But for us, it was like Chevy, Ford, and Dodge. Um, and here's the thing, if my Chevy truck, I don't actually own a truck, but let's just say I did right now, right? So my dad, let's say my dad, my dad's Chevy truck is parked at, in our garage. And then he takes his Chevy truck and he goes and he parks that in our neighbor's garage. It's still a Chevy truck, just like your investments. They can be the same investments inside Schwab as they are inside TD Ameritrade. So having your truck in a different garage is not diversification having the same investments in a different custodian, that's not diversification. He would literally have to have a Chevy truck, a Dodge truck, a Ford truck, a car, <laughs> an RV. I mean, that, those are different, right? Even different than the truck. So you can say Ford, Chevy, Dodge might be small cap, mid cap, large cap stocks. And you mix in a car, that might be a real estate investment trust. Put in an RV in there, maybe that's a master limited partnership, right? Um, so there's lots having the same investments inside different garages, custodians, is not diversification. If you wanna find out what your true diversification really is, have us run a risk analysis for you. We'll find out whether or not you truly are diversified or if you've just got the same truck parked in a different garage. And if you wanna get one of those resuscitation reports done so we actually can find out how much risk your portfolio is exposed to, go ahead and reach out to us. Um, go to millerretirementgroup.com. We're gonna have a, a area that you can go there. Uh, if it's in the comment section, there actually might be a link to our calendar down here. And so you can click on that and, and request some time with us so we can actually find out. Because we've had a coronavirus, we had the market go down, the market came back up um, really fast. So we might be sitting right where we were back before the whole coronavirus even started, but now we're seeing a lot of stuff where our county is even back in orange, right? And so we're, we're not out of this yet. We don't know what the market might continue to do. So if you feel like you might still be too exposed to risk, come and get that risk analysis, no obligation, and we'll find out whether or not you might need to make some tweaks. So that's it. Once again, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get alerted every time we have new content like this. Take care.